Hello, what we got here today is the LED sequencer kit from Nightfire Electronics, and we are going to put it together. Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do is take the 8 pin IC socket, it has a small notch at the top, place it on the LM555 spot on the PC board. You'll notice that there's a small printed notch right there. That's the top of the LM555, that's where the top of the notch should go. Put that in there. And you're going to do the same for the CD4017 16 pin IC socket. Once you got those on there, you're going to want to solder them. You're going to solder from the back. Best way to do it is to bend the tip of each one on each corner you'll see how that one stayed you're going to want to do the same for both of them you want to bend each corner the lead pushing down on the back side and there you have it All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is in install the resistors. You'll have 11 resistors. 10 of them are going to be 120 ohms, and one of them is going to be 1K. The 120 ohms is going to be, uh, you can see it as brown, red, brown, gold on the resistors. And then there will be one that is brown, black, red, gold. That is the 1K. Um, the resistors go in a circular pattern right here you'll see the R1 starting here making all, its way all the way to R10 right here on the board R11 which will be the 1K is right here at the tip of the board so we will okay after things. installing the resistors this is what you should have um, making sure that the R11 is the only 1K right here and resistors are non-polarized so they can be put in either which way um, much like the ceramic capacitors um, in this kit you'll get a 0.1 and it goes here C1, C2, and C3 and they can be put in either which way so let's put them in and once you have them in what you're going to want to do is push down on one side and bend the lead just a little bit so it holds in place and you're going to want to do that for all three of them so let's put those in And there you have it and you are ready to solder each pin okay we've installed the ceramic disc capacitors c1 c2 and c3 the next thing that we're going to install is the transistors they are a 2n 4401 there will be 10 of them they will line up in a column right here and down here they are labeled as q so you will see q1 q2 q3 Q4, Q5, and so on and so on. There's a print on there that shows the shape of the transistor. There's a flat top and then a round side to the PC board on every single one of the Qs. The transistor has the same shape to it. There's a flat top side to it right here and then a round side to the bottom. They need to match up with the printing on the PC board. If they're backwards, if one of them is put in backwards, such as this, it will not work. They all need to be put in according to the printing on the PC board. Flat side goes to the flat side of the transistor. So, put all the transistors in. You may need to spread the leads a little bit to get them in sitting nice but you'll want to push them into about that far once you got that for all of them you are ready to go on to the LEDs okay after installing the transistors the next thing that you're going to want to do is install the LEDs 
there will be 10 LEDs. Um, the LEDs have two leads. One will be a long lead, that is the positive side. The other one will have a short lead, that is the negative side. On the PC board, there are 10 white circles with flat tops. Those are where the LEDs go. The flat top on the circle is the negative side. Each one of them will have a positive symbol next to the round side on the white print. That is the positive side. When installing these, what you're going to want to do is slide them into place correctly, hold down on them, and bend the lead. And there you have it, your LED is in place. Um, I'd suggest doing them one at a time, and I will show you the next step. Okay, after installing all 10 LEDs, the next thing that you're going to want to install is the aluminum capacitor. It has two leads, uh, one long that's positive and one short that is negative. And it should be a 33 UF capacitor, 16 to 25 volt. And where it's located is at the top of the board, C4. There's a white small positive symbol that is for the long side the positive side and also a, a way you can tell on the capacitors is there's a white bar that is the negative symbol on a aluminum radial capacitor. Also the next thing that you're going to want to install is a 4.7 K potentiometer and it is located right here at the VR1. There is a triangle shaped three holes and you're going to want to place that in there. Also bend the leads so that it stays in place and solder them and we will get to the battery. Clip. Okay, after soldering the aluminum capacitor and the potentiometer, the next thing you're going to want to do is install the 9 volt battery clip. Uh, there is a small negative symbol here and a positive symbol here. You're going to want to solder the black wire to the negative and solder the red wire to the positive and then we'll be ready to put in the ICs next. Okay, the next thing that you're going to want to do is install the Elm 555 timer. Um, there'll be a small notch on the end of the IC. That needs to be facing down towards this end right here. That is the front of the IC. Um, place that in there gently to where it can't go down anymore. Just like, just like that. Um, the next one is the CD4017. It also has a notch right here. It does have a small round spot right here, but that is not the notch that we're looking for. This is the notch that you're looking for. You're going to want to put that facing right there. Once you got the IC in, it's in. You're ready to test. Okay, we got the ICs in, all lined up, and now we're ready to test. You're going to want to use a 9 volt battery. Um, you can use a, a step down wall mount power unit or any type of 9 volt power supply that um, can work. Um, I would suggest using just a regular 9 volt battery though. And we are going to dim the lights and see what color we have in store for us. And look at that. We have a beautiful pink LED sequencer. Um, the speed can be uh, varied by the notch in the potentiometer right here. Um, it turns left and right to either speed up or slow down the quickness of the re rotation. And... Um, Excellent little kit. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, definitely subscribe to uh, VA Kit's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.